All right, 848 on this Monday morning. If you are stepping out the door, cold weather, big coat weather. Now some spots are nice and sunny. Others have got some clouds filtering in. So for a perfect comparison here, kind of the north side of the metro, Owasso, at least from this view, blue skies. Here's a look from Gathering Place. You can see some clouds creeping into the shot here. Uh, near and especially west of Tulsa, you're going to turn mostly cloudy over the next few hours, and then the sun will break back out for the second half of the day. Temperatures, either whether it's sunny or cloudy though, or cold, 20s north, 30s south out the door right now. Uh, that's not changing too much. Wind chill values, but it feels like most of us in the 20s. Wind chill still in the teens. Feels like 18 in Bartlesville, 16 in Coffeyville. Whew. Yeah, it is maybe a shock to the system. As you know, this time of year, we can still have mornings like this. That's not uncommon at all, but we haven't had a lot of mornings like this over the last several weeks. So you may be thinking, oh, dang, I thought it was spring for good now. Well, not quite. And typical fashion. It seems like a lot of times we hit spring break here in green country and that's when the cold weather settles back in and we're kind of doing it again so for the kids and adults too if you've got outdoor plans today still gonna need the coat or the hoodie right on through the afternoon hours tomorrow jacket weather as well wednesday has the best opportunity to be kind of a t-shirt afternoon south winds crank up temperatures will warm up thursday temperatures are still pretty good but that's when rain and storm chances are on the increase and for the end of the week into this upcoming weekend temperatures tumble yet again we're back in a jacket and coat weather starting on st patty's day friday even though we'll be drying out by then all right highs this afternoon uh mid 40s to the north and east of tulsa around prior Vanita, bartlesville coffee bowl uh upper 40s in the tulsa metro around 50 in southeastern oklahoma normal 62 so Nowhere near that today. Tomorrow morning, some high pressures kind of sliding off to the east. It'll be another start with many of us at or below freezing, especially north and east of Tulsa. Tomorrow afternoon, some clouds again near and south of Tulsa. A southeast breeze will push us into the low 50s. It's still below normal, but a little better. Here's that again. There's that cloud deck this morning. Notice that rolls in and then it kind of backs off this afternoon. So I know where, where it's cloud, creeping in right now near and west of Tulsa, it's turning cloudy and you're going, oh no, it's going to be a gloomy day. It'll eventually thin back out with time later on this afternoon. Some flurries and sprinkles in central Oklahoma. Tomorrow morning, again, we're off to that cold start. Here is that area of sprinkles and light showers rolling across southeastern Oklahoma tomorrow. Uh, it looks like the, the brunt of that stays along the Red River. But around McAllister, H Hannah, Stewart, Wilberton, Talhina, Stigor, you could have, I think, at least a period of some light showers midday into tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday, again, we're dry windy and temperatures climbing again even with the cloud cover and then thursday some showers in the morning and then some thunderstorms thursday afternoon thursday evening that's a cold front starting to arrive and there is an opportunity that a few of those storms on thursday could be on the strong to severe side of things now we're not expecting widespread severe weather but you saw what future is hinting at kind of maybe a line of storms as a cold front surges in often when we get that with the instability in play we could have at least some some damaging wind potential with that line thursday in the latter half of the day so again, that's what we'll be watching for pretty closely for you Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. That moves out Thursday night. That's the cold front, though, barreling in with strong north winds. And like I said, Friday, we like to see the sunshine icon on St. Patty's Day Friday, but the temperatures will be chilly. The north winds will be strong for those uh, holiday activities there. And over the weekend, highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s. So more hard freezes look like they're on the way Saturday and Sunday.